Welcome to the Daily Bible for Kids podcast. The day is October the 30th. My name's Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take a little time in God's Word, and we let His Word take some time on us. Kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible. And today, we're in the book of Acts, chapter 18. Sometimes people didn't listen to Paul when he preached to them about Jesus. Let's read about it now in Acts chapter 18. Then Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he became acquainted with a Jew named Aquila, born in Pontius, who had recently arrived from Italy with his wife Priscilla. They had left Italy because Claudius Caesar deported all the Jews from Rome. Paul lived and worked with them, for they were tent makers just as he was. Each Sabbath, found Paul at the synagogue trying to convince the Jewish people and Greeks alike. And after Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul spent all his time preaching the word. He testified to the Jewish people that Jesus was the Messiah. But when they opposed and insulted him, Paul shook the dust from his clothes and said, Your blood is on your own heads. I am innocent. From now on I'll go and preach to the Gentiles. Then he left and went to the home of Titus Justus a Gentile who worshipped God and lived next door to the synagogue. Crispus, the leader of the synagogue, and everyone in his household believed in the Lord. Many others in Corinth also heard Paul, became believers, and were baptized. One night the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision and told him, Don't be afraid. Speak out. Don't be silent. For I am with you, and no one will attack and harm you. For many people in this city belong to me, So Paul stayed there for the next year and a half, teaching the Word of God. Wow. God told Paul to keep on preaching about Jesus, even when people weren't listening. It's easy to do things for the approval of others and not to do them when we feel people disapprove. But God tells Paul here, keep doing what I've asked you to do. Don't let what others think about you control you. Instead, do what God would have you do. And that, my friend, is so important for all of us. So let's do that. Let's do what God would have us do, no matter what others say, even if people won't listen or reject us because of it. Well, hey, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible, and I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, I plan on being here. Until that time, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength and let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. Alrighty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care.